Thanks. Came as soon as I could. Finally. The message was a little cryptic. Well, that's because I, I don't know who's listening on the cell phone. The jet is fueled, and, and they're waiting for you to call them with a, with a flight plan. A flight plan to where? Greece. And just for the record, an accurate flight plan is worth the risk. Okay, why are we going to Greece? I, I found my father's will. The original. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> All right, I, I wanted the attorney to fax it, but, but he, he insists on a sit-down. All right, so, so Mikos has named you as a rightful heir? He acknowledged me as his natural daughter. Which means that the money is mine. Listen, if that is Gertrude, tell her that we're going to the Ozarks. Okay. Mr. Jax? Huh? I need to speak with my attorney. Go ahead. In private. Well, you're in our house, and uh, anything you have to say in front of Alexis, so you can say in front of me. Helena has recovered. Completely? Apparently, yes. So your suspicions are correct? I've sent her away from Windermere, and I've informed the police commissioner. That you believe that Helena killed Catherine? And tried to frame Laura, yes. So I assume you're going to recant your confession, then? As soon as possible. Okay, I, I will uh, take care of that right away. Please do. That is, if you can fit it in around your vacation plans. We're going to the Ozarks. I will take care of this. Uh, and thank you telling me about Helena. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing that your mother recovered completely. I mean, there's nothing short of miraculous, really, isn't it? You should tell your husband to stay out of other people's business. I'll take care of everything. See that you do. You've done it. I hope so. Why were you baiting Stefan? Are you underestimating how paranoid he is? So why not keep him off balance? Cassidines don't like to be off balance. Okay, is there something that I should know yeah, about just, here? Just don't push him anymore, okay? He could be as dangerous as his mother. If we distract Stefan with Helena, then maybe he won't notice you're going after your inheritance. Interesting tactic. Really? Then I've got a better one. How about this? Forget the money. Don't risk your life to save my brothers, okay? You know, except for Ned, whom I love with all my heart, marrying you was the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me, which is why I'm so determined to do this, whether you like it or not. Okay. Reacting. I am not overreacting. Yes, you are. Okay. You call for reinforcements? My husband did. I didn't. Well, what happened? Is Gertrude back? Worse. I found my father's original will. Where? In Greece. You aren't going to Greece, are you? Exactly. If I have the will, getting my hands on that, that money won't be a problem. Yeah. And what my lovely wife forgot to mention is that Helena Cassidyne is at large. They tied her hospital bed to a broom? No, no. She recovered miraculously. That's why I called you. Well, I'm glad you did. Because if Helena finds out that Alexis is going after the inheritance... You don't have to remind me how dangerous Helena is. I know that, but that money is mine. I agree with Alexis. Thank you. So much for supporting your beloved husband. Oh, she wants to help Jack. Well, you don't know Helena. But I know about friends. C Chloe, this isn't the Chapel of Bells anymore, okay? And, and Helena isn't Gertrude. Would you do something, please? Alexis, what about the stars in the desert? Letting go of the Cassidines, remember? I thought we were past all this. I still am. This isn't about me. I'm not trying to prove anything to the Cassidines. Are you sure about that? Their fortune has never been put to good use, at least not intentionally. It has only caused people pain. Especially to you. Which is the whole point. I have only given up things to the Cassidines. It's time for me to take something back. 
And risk your life to help my brother? It's the principle. Oh, I was afraid of that. I have to do it. I know. When Alexis gets to the principle, you might as well abandon hope. We have two choices. Either we can stand back and just tell her how wrong she is, or we can pitch in and help. So, will it be? I'll do anything. And so will I. Jax? Remind me not to call you next time. Are you in? I'm in. Great. Now there's just one problem. Now what? believe that I forgot about this. I have to stay in on and clear Stefan, and that lawyer is expecting me. I, I, I need someone to go. I, I have to get there before Helena finds out about the will. I will deal with the will. You'll go? Yeah, why not? I'm all packed. Then you will be safe here with me. Thank you. Jax, it's about time you came up with a good idea. Thank you so much. The jet is fueled. And you will look after my wife? What are friends for? If there is a hint of trouble, you will come right back. Yes, yes, I will, okay? I, I have a conference call. I have to go right now. I completely forgot. I, my cashmere supplier is calling from Milan. I have to go. That's expensive. They're going to be furious. Make I... sure they pick up the bill. I will. You'll be careful. Yes. And I'll be back before you know I'm gone. I doubt that. See ya. Bye. 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 Don't wait up. Okay. I should probably get going, too. It's a good idea. All right, uh, you've got your passport, the bags are packed, and dinner is set up on the jet. Isn't she a great wife? You'll be careful. He'll be careful, all right? I will. Thank you. I'm home! And guess... Elena. She's better. A miracle of modern science. Yeah, so it appears. Are you all right? You're holding souvenirs of your trip to Greece that belong to me. If you're so devoted to little bastard Natasha, you could hand them to me now and I'll be on my way. How many murders is she suspected of at the moment? At least two that I know of, and that was in the last couple mm. of months. Well, I know of a third. Now you break into my house and threaten my wife. I break in? Then tell me why my first phone call shouldn't be to Max Scorpio. Well, it's always the thief who's first to cry out, help police. I'm referring to the criminal rampage you enjoyed in Athens with a person calling herself Alexis. How long have you been listening to this? About an hour. Oh. How was your rampage? I mean, trip. Well, you know, when you travel as a Cassidyne's palace, it's, it's rather interesting. You get to see a lot more, a lot more things than tourists do. Like, a man was shot before my very eyes. He was old. I'm told he died of natural causes. Yeah, uh, I suppose you would almost qualify as a natural cause. Now, we were threatened at gunpoint, roughed up chased and forced to jump off a bridge into a fast-moving river. Now, unfortunately, the lockbox that we were carrying, a little safe deposit box, it couldn't swim. Oh, please, now, have the decency not to claim that you never looked inside it. Not only did I look inside, I rescued this as it gurgled its way to the bottom of the river. This is the uh, last will and testament of your late husband, Mikos. It says here that he acknowledges you as his natural daughter. Right there. To my cherished daughter, Natasha, called Alexis Davidovich, whom I could not embrace in life, but whom I have loved. As I loved her, dear mother. Try going to court and authenticating that. It should take only about uh, 50 years. Your talents are wasted on our weepy little friend there. When you get bored with her, which should be soon,
You have no idea what this means to me. Thank you. But you shouldn't have told her that you found the will. Mm. See, that was to keep her from guessing that I found this. The reason we almost died in the Sahara. What Helena's willing to kill for to keep secret. At least until... When does your nephew come of age? When he turns 25? No, that would be the Cassadine Prince. If there were one. Hmm. Now we know. Know what? I think I understand, but you may have to explain it to me. Why Dr. Listeris was killed, for one thing. You know, the, um, the ruled pages, the ones with the, uh, the ones that almost look like ledger paper. But the handwriting in Greek, his, uh, records on Nicholas. And this statement in the event of my death, Helena's statement, disability, etc. I take it the, the witness slash notary is the one who was holding my father's will. Dead now, too. Oh, God. You know, outside of us, no one knows. Well, at least you're consistent. Well, I heard you nearly drowned my wife again. Could you be any more careless? Are you gonna be the kind of husband I can't tell anything? I, you should be angry with me. I was the one who stowed away on the jet. He shouldn't even be on. What's the matter? There is a complication. Is that your father's will? Chloe said they found it. That and this. That and the will, I guess, in a way, they almost cancel each other out. What? I, I thought you said that... I don't really the... understand. This will may never bring me a cent, and for that, I am so sorry, Jax. But it says here, in my father's own words, how he felt about me, and for that... That's irreplaceable. Thank you. And now, I don't understand. I thought the will stated that you were an heir it does. to your father's It does. Will. And you know, there may be a keepsake or two that I can legally claim, but a part of the will pertains to the estate that's passed through his title. Which would be all of it, since there is no Prince Cassidine to inherit the rest. Stavros is dead. He had no sons. Did he? Well, what about Nicholas, Emily's friend? I mean, that's what the other paper says. Yeah, I I'm really confused. Well, you weren't here for all of that, and even if you were, it was confusing enough. Nicholas isn't the prince. That was a hoax perpetrated by his father, passing himself off as the boy's uncle, right? Well, it turns out the hoax was perpetrated on Stefan. He wanted the world to think that he was raising his brother's son. And you know what it turns out? Hey, he was. His precious lie, the one that I have so triumphantly uncovered, the one that he would take to his grave, is the lie that makes all of the other lies true. What a family, huh? Yeah, long live the prince. These handwritten notes were made by the family doctor? Dr. Listeris. There was no DNA testing back then. Paternity was determined through exclusion only. And these blood tests showed right away that Stefan was not Nicholas's father. And Helena arranged for him to be told exactly the opposite. Why? That's the part I don't understand. All right, well... Why? Nicholas's mother was gone. His father was dead. Helena's health was failing. And she needed a way to ensure that Nicholas would inherit the estate, even if Stefan seized power. Wait, are you saying that she was worried that, that Nicholas was in danger from his uncle? The two of them have hated each other since he kicked free from the womb. They both think the other is the evil incarnate. So she thought that he would, what, drown the boy, poison him? Dreadful, isn't it? But not really that far-fetched. Well, she must still think that Nicholas is in danger even now, if she's willing to kill to keep the truth from coming out? Of course, that's what she thinks, as preposterous as that is. I'm sure that's why she appointed herself trustee of the state, so she could 
look over the Cassidine fortune and keep it more or less intact so that when Nicholas turned 25, she could look at her grandson and say, look how I protected you. Now, what are you going to do for me? Nicholas doesn't want to be Prince Cassidine, am I right? I mean, wasn't he delighted when he found out that he was just a peon like everybody else? Yes, he was. And if the fortune reverts back to him, you lose out completely, correct? I'm sorry. And of course, Stefan will be crushed when he finds out the son he cherished isn't really his. You know, that's the worst part. But all of these unhappy consequences can be prevented by throwing these into the fireplace and keeping our mouth shut. Outside of this room, only Helena knows what we know. And without the documents, there'll be no proof. And who will believe her? It's up to you. You can't do it, can you? Family can be annoying that way. It's really much simpler than that. I just found out today for the first time that my father loved me. And for all of you who have always known where you came from, you, you can't imagine what that's like to be able to look into the mirror and know whose eyes are looking back at you. Nicholas asked to know. Take it Stefan wasn't too receptive. He tried to convince himself that I was lying, and then when he couldn't, it broke his heart. So when does he plan to sell Nicholas? He doesn't. What? He doesn't want anyone to know, especially Nicholas. Why not? Because he thinks that Nicholas is happier as an ordinary person, and maybe he's right. No, no, no. The, the, the truth is not Stefan's to dole out as he sees fit. It's, it's got to be faced and dealt with by everyone involved. It doesn't work, Alexis, under any circumstances. Nicholas has already had so much upheaval in his life. Is it so wrong to, to want to spare him any more pain? Of course not. The instinct to protect Nicholas is perfectly understandable. Look at what I'm doing for Jerry. But that doesn't mean you should get stuck in the same trap. Look, if Stefan doesn't tell Nicholas the truth, then you'll have to do it. I can't do that. That is, that is out of the question. Why not? Because it would ruin whatever slim chance I have of still being in Stefan's life. And for some ungodly reason, that still matters yes, to yes. me. Yes, yes. Stefan will be angry. There's no denying that. But Stefan is not the issue. Nicholas has the right to know who he is, right? And, and what he wants to do about it, that's his choice. Look, I'm not going to pressure you. All I'm asking is that you consider the consequences of both choices and then do whatever you think is best. Pardon me, ma'am. Have you seen a deeply conflicted woman staring in the direction of Windermere? As a matter of fact, I have. Really? Well, she's my wife. I thought I might find her here. Listen, if you see her again, would you give her this for me? How did you know? <laughs> Matchless instinct. Mm -hmm. That and the fact that you were pacing up and down the hall all night. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep you no, awake. No, no. I'm the one who should be apologizing. My honesty ruined your sleep. You were right. I know that I should tell Nicholas. You're still afraid that Nicholas won't be able to handle it? I think Nicholas will be able to handle it. He's, he's young and he's resilient. It's just that Stefan is different and I don't know why I should care about him, but I do. And, and I'm worried for him. You're afraid of what Stefan might do if you enlighten Nicholas on your own? The possibility that uh, Stefan might tell Nicholas on his own? Considered and rejected. Oh. He was very firm, and his edicts are always issued in stone. You going to warn Stefan? Been there, done that. Now, I came here to try to catch up with Nicholas, but he'd already taken the launch. Ah, oh, so you're waiting for him. Well, you're doing the right thing. That's very generous, considering the rippling effect. Nicholas needs the truth. And what about Jerry? Good point. What about Jerry? Have I been abandoned by my best man? 
Where's the bucking up? The ring bearing, the last minute rights of tequila. Oh, stay away from the tequila if I were you. Well, be more for me. Can I borrow your husband for a couple of hours? You're welcome to join us. Thanks, but I'm waiting for someone. I'll see you at the wedding. I'll be there. You're on your way to Windermere, don't. What happened? Elena dropped in. Any particular reason? To infuriate my father. And when I left, she was succeeding. Nicholas. I need to speak to you. Or no. Hey. I'm sorry, but you have to admit that with us, it's almost always bad news. That's not your fault, it's the... Cassidine curse. I'm kidding, sort of. No, it's the truth. It's a word you don't hear much of in our family, huh? Mm -hmm. A very important document has come into my hands. Can we do this another time? I'm not up for it right now. One of the pluses of not being the prince you is that I can just... Prince. Have... I'm fairly blunt, but I didn't know how else to do it. This is a copy of your paternity test. The real one, not the fake one. <sighs> Stefan isn't your father. Stavros was. Alexis, Natasha, whoever you oh, are. Nicholas. Was I supposed to be grateful for this? One more version of the family tree? Why on earth would I do I that? I don't know. To hurt my father. I wouldn't do that at the cost of It hurting. wouldn't be the first time. If you thought this thing was valid, you would have taken it straight to my father, but instead you wait for me to I be alone. Did. I took it to him yesterday. He knew you were bringing this to me. I'm not doing this very well. He was adamant about you not finding out. I don't want to hear this. Nicholas. Leave me alone. Let me help you. I will deal with this. I will deal with my father. Just leave me alone. <laughs> 